Welcome back to Drawing Technical. Today I'm showcasing an air brick ventilation that I modeled as a Revit family file. And as you can see, it's quite detailed. Now I just want to show you quickly what it looks like in real life. As you can see, there's quite some intricate details on this real actual air brick. And you'll notice in this model that I've meticulously detailed every little intricate part of this air brick. And you can see uh, the cross section here showing how it looks on the inside. So this is as much as to scale as I could get it. I literally took the air brick and used a tape measure or a ruler and measured it to the very millimeter. So uh, this helped me to shape it correctly and it fits in the model quite nicely as you can see here. I've placed it in a wall and uh, it's fitting quite well. And here's a back view of this model. You can see it quite nicely. Uh, I'm going to just have a deeper look on the inside so you can see what it's like. Let me just isolate this and turn on shadows so it looks good. Uh, let me just turn on a better shadow setting. Okay, and uh, if I take a section box here and cut a section through it, you can see how it's detailed exactly like the real air brick. The only extreme fine detail that I haven't included was the text that's on the air brick. Um, that wouldn't have played well with Revit because Revit can do details like this, but it can't do super fine intricate details like AutoCAD can. And I'm just going to open a new project and show you how it sets in to a wall. So opening an architectural template. And I'm going to draw a wall. As you can see here. Okay, I've drawn a wall and I'm just going to drop in the air brick file. Oh, that's another one that I've made and that's not for this video, that's for another time because I'm still working on that one. You can see in the tiny thumbnail here where it has the extension flu part but like I said, it's not ready yet. So I'm going to drop this in here. And uh, you can see how it uh, moves along the wall here. And all you have to do is click it in somewhere. And then we can have a look at it in 3D. And you see that it's inserted itself right where it needs to be. So it's 150 mil above the ground or the bottom of the wall. You can edit this height by clicking it and just changing the parameter here. Just change the figure to 250 and it'll move up. And also you'll see that it cuts right through the wall. So it's actually ventilating the wall and if your wall turned out to be thicker and you find that this is too far set into the wall then you can click this and go into edit type and set the wall depth setting so if I put it at 200 for example and click apply you'll see that it comes out of the wall and I can send it back in 
at 100 and you'll see that it goes back in a bit too far. So for a normal wall, 116.5 is right on the edge. And for those who want to support my work, I've made this model available on my website. You can get it from here. This is why if you just want to support the channel and uh, want to contribute to it. And if you're wondering how I made this family file, I'm not actually going to make a video explaining on how I made this because it's very intricate and it's just going to take forever to put that video together. But just to uh, whet your appetite a bit, if you go into, so you'll be creating a new family. So if you go into file, new, and you'll be creating a family. And the set of tools to use to make something like this is, I'm just going to go through here, generic models. So these are the set of tools that you need to understand how to use. You can find various tutorials for each of these on YouTube already. And you need to understand how the work plane works. And I have a video on work planes, which I'll link at the end of this video. And I'll put a link to this in the description for the supporters. Thanks for watching.